been suited as a model. The workshops held under the Kura project are very useful. They allow specialists from three countries to meet, jointly discuss problems and find solutions. I would also like to stress the importance of this study tour to Spain and Denmark. The things that we have learned about water management in Europe helped me to see new perspectives for Georgia. Accuracy and precision of laboratory analysis is of paramount importance. Monitoring should deliver reliable results that decision makers can trust. Harmonization of sampling and analytical methods, quality assurance are the key issues. This activity is led by monitoring expert Dr. Peter Ronchak. We monitor water quality in the rivers every month. It is very important that under the Kura project, we do monitoring jointly with our colleagues from Armenia and Azerbaijan. This is the best way to harmonize the methods we are using for sampling and in the laboratory. The booklet about the Kura River produced by the project has been well received in schools. School children are asking questions about ecology, how clean the river water is and why the Kura River needs protection. Azerbaijan is the largest and most populous country of the South Caucasus region. Lack of pollution control, dilapidated water infrastructure, water losses, growing demand for water and the need to improve water quality management are among the key environmental problems of the region. A number of large international environmental projects have been implemented in Azerbaijan in the recent years. Since the breakup of the former Soviet Union, the countries of the South Caucasus have made significant progress. Successful economic development in Azerbaijan covers all sectors, including regional development, water management and protection of water resources, which of course require a new approach. But there is another problem. How do we value our water resources? I mean, the way we use them. On average, for a liter of water brought to Baku, about half a liter, if not half then about 0.3 or 0.4 liter, is lost through leaks and infiltration to the ground. And the result is, I know this from the monitoring data, the groundwater table in the Absheron Peninsula has risen by about 22 meters in some places. That's unbelievable. The question is why do we use so much water? In fact, we are using much more than we need. The problem is that our water infrastructure, canals, pipeline networks and drinking water supply systems are not in a good state of repair. Because of that, water losses are huge. They are estimated at about 35 to 40 percent, but this is an estimate by those responsible for the infrastructure. I think it is a very approximate figure. I think the real losses can be significantly higher. European countries have substantial experience in water management. It's very important for us to learn from Europe. It will help us to adopt European methods in our region, methods which are proven and produce good results. In this respect, in Azerbaijan, some work was done some time ago. I mean, an attempt to organize a basin public council in the Alazan. Zani River Basin. At the moment, the government is considering ways to create a new competent authority, which would be responsible for water resources management using the river basin approach in line with the principles of the Water Framework Directive. Aiming at closer cooperation with the European Union, Armenia, Georgia and Azerbaijan agreed upon the European Neighborhood Policy Action Plans. 
Internationally funded projects help to build technical capabilities of the water agencies in the South Caucasus and to facilitate transboundary cooperation among the Kura Basin countries. The regional dialogue is also promoted by the Regional Environmental Center for the Caucasus established by the governments of Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan with support from the European Commission. Unfortunately, countries um, put the environmental issues now on, not on the first place. Of course, it is in the countries and uh, suffer for this, uh, we need the more strong will from them. And uh, we believe, we hope that now the one of the uh, best achievements of, uh, of, the, of most uh, organizations is that the countries working together uh, within international uh, processes, international projects. The rapid economic growth in Armenia, Georgia and Azerbaijan is putting water resources under increasing pressure, negatively affecting the life-sustaining aquatic ecosystems, water quality and water availability. Although efforts are being made by the governments to control the human pressures, more needs to be done, especially in the following main areas. To improve national systems for water quality assessment and pollution control, including monitoring and reporting through adoption of the river basin management approach, to adopt legislation which would provide incentives for water users to reduce pollution and save water, to improve transboundary cooperation in the Kura River Basin. And as well, there was plenty of reasons not to, plenty of political uh, reasons, uh, historical reasons that the countries weren't sharing information, weren't looking at this as an integrated problem. If we can provide that incentive and that backdrop, which I think we are doing, uh, I think we have a, a very good chance to see the countries move towards regional management of water and then begin to converge with the European Union policy on integrated water resource management. Nature knows no administrative or political frontiers, and this is especially true for a river, a lake or a sea. It is hoped that efforts made by Armenia, Georgia and Azerbaijan will soon lead to integration of the Water Framework Directive key principles into the water legislation and management practices to effectively protect aquatic ecosystems in the Kura River Basin. <laughs>